deep again. And that ball has ended up in the back of the net. Straight over goalkeeper Lurkin Heaney's hand. And Pats have the lead on seven minutes. And Conor Carty seems to have gotten the last touch on it. Yeah, Conor Carty, I think, with the ball in the back of the net. Uh, the commentator's curse put on the use of the defence there, but a complete mix-up between defence and goalkeeper, and the ball has ended up in the back of the net inside seven minutes at the bowl. I'm looking at the replay, it's, it's hard to see exactly what went wrong there, but uh, yeah, either way, the ball has ended up in the net. Dara Keane and Lurkin Healy going for the ball, but it is the start that you said he did not want in their new strip. It's a little bit sloppy in the inside, but eventually it comes to Jason McClelland. Pats build again. Ball spread out. It's a decent ball into the box. A great ball into the box. An opportunity. Oh, really good save in fairness to Lorcan Healy. The chance there for Jason McLennan. He hit it sweetly. Just a little bit too close to the UCD keeper. But that could have been curtains inside 10 minutes there for UCD. Cormac with the ball inside. Breaks, an opportunity for Pats to double their lead, and it's been well saved once again by Lorcan Healy. In fairness, I think he was calamitous for the opening goal, but he's made two really good saves since. Yeah, he has, uh, he has moments of uh, undoubted ability. Yeah, that ball broke nicely for McLennan, took the shot low into the bottom left yeah. corner, but it was well saved by Healy. And like I said, I'm, I'm liking the black goalkeeper's jersey, I have to say. <laughs> But there's enough colour in it for it to be not the same as the referee's kit. Being ball inside, oh, mm. half a chance for UCD there. He was looking yeah, for somebody just to get a try. flick on it. Definitely worth a try. It was Norris and Doyle who are waiting to pounce, but in fairness, it's just a little bit too close to goalkeeper Dean Linus, but that was much better from UCD. You can see it on the replay. Bean prefers on the left, but uh, he went down onto his right. He was shepherded, in fairness, onto his right by Breslin, and then the low ball across, taken by the Pats goalkeeper. Ben McCormick, who's going to take this corner from Pats, this is where the goal came early in the first half in the eighth minute this ball is into a dangerous position again and the ball has ended up in the back of the net a near carbon copy of the goal and it is 2-0 for St. Patrick's Athletic it looks like the substitute Noel Lewis has gotten credit for that goal yeah incredible uh, Lurkin Healy is suggesting that he was fouled but it does not look like we're going to have anything coming of that from UC perspective so Pats have doubled their lead in the 42nd minute here of this League of Ireland clash at the ball again, same formula as the opening goal. McCormick's corner in at the back post, yeah. and it was Lewis who headed it in there, getting in behind Jake Doyle to put the ball into the back of the net. The ball might well have already been in when Lewis got the final touch, but he's going to get the credit for it. Into the back post, it's headed in, and the ball is in to the back of the net. Lewis with the second of the night, third goal of the game. Curtains for UC. Three 0 St Patrick's Athletic in this League of Ireland title. Declan, what can you say about that goal that hasn't been said about the other two? Same old, same old, as the man says. Yep. How frustrating is that from UC perspective? Just have a little look at the uh, college bench here. What can you do? It's just... Yeah. Have a look at that uh, goal there. That's their third. Have a look at the first and the second. It's not a huge amount of difference. You can see Bob throwing his hands up to heaven. Just incredibly frustrating, but from a pass perspective, Lewis with the second goal of the night came on. Uh, it was about 38, 39 minutes gone, and uh, he has scored a couple of goals to make the points safe for the Inchy Core Club. The in goal used to be have conceded seven. It's Derry City, the last time he was starting. And three so far tonight. Ball inside, this is across the box. Oh, it must be! And it is one of the worst misses you're going to see all season. It won't matter in this game, but that was a massive opportunity there at the back post. And Gets it in for Barr. Cuts back inside, whips the ball inside. It's there, and it's a header from Bean. Yeah, and uh, a good effort from him. Yeah, much better. Um, it's just unfortunately he was a little bit far out from goal, but it was a good cross right onto his noggin, and uh, he just couldn't quite get the action on that ball that he would have wanted, but an effort on target for college. Didn't trouble Linus too much, but at least made him stretch. Indeed, made him think. Headed on there from Lewis, and it breaks for Bean in the box. Bean instead goes across for Kinsella Bishop. Kinsella Bishop still with the shot, and, and the ball is in the back of the net. 
We wanted a consolation for you today, and that's exactly what we've got. They've battled away, and their perseverance deserves something in this game. Uh, fair play to be, and he could have belted the ball into the back of the net himself. But instead, he plays it across to Danny Tins the Bishop, and that is a brilliant finish. Absolutely smashes it in to the roof of the net. And if memory serves me correctly, that's his third goal of the season in the league, and makes him top goal scorer. So he needs one to break Timmy Purcell's de desperate uh, season total of three back in 2008. UCD come again and O'Connor on the right hand side into that post it's headed in off the crossbar and on this occasion Declan you see you've been awarded a free out yeah and I honestly don't think the Pats player fouled anybody <laughs> yeah that was uh, that was Lewis going in for the half trick there at the back yeah. post you can see it coming in here oh yeah he did he sorry did he did yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kai here. Now we've got the four minutes played, so I'm sure that is indeed going to be it. And that is full time in this League of Ireland clash. UCD won, St. Patrick's Athletic 3. A game that, on paper at least, it sounded like Pats won it well. They had plenty of chances, but the goals from a UCD perspective were very soft. By the way, it's three points heading back to Inchicore tonight, and UCD remain rooted to the bottom of the table.